Welcome to Courageous Dialogues, podcast where I try and get to the heart of the matter with people in your community. Can you um, give us an example of threads? Yes. Now, can I check your recording? Yeah. Okay, sorry. All right. So I'm going to give you like, this is um, an example that I think I started the first time with Brenville Green, um, who's her, our head of junior school and also very much um, very keen for us to talk about how it can make teachers' lives easier. So um, in this example, you start off with probably the cliche thing, but I really enjoy it, which is um, what is chat GPT? Um, and so it's going to come up with some lovely information here and you can see it's a whole it's a paragraph it's not too bad it's okay so now I'm going to do is I'm going to say okay well that's a little bit much it's too long for me to read out mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to say um, summarize this in 30 words or less That makes it a lot easier for me to read aloud. ChatGPT yeah. is an AI language model created by OpenAI that uses a transformer architecture to process natural language. Now, transformer architecture, that's going to be above most people's heads. So let's get it to now go, all right, let's um, uh, the audience are children aged um, 13 to 15 years old and so now it's adjusting it for that audience no um, way wow so that's where um and you can see in previous examples as well so um i uh, might not use that one let me have a look uh you can see i've used it to build an itinerary for a trip from <laughs> we actually have a look at your itinerary for that trip <laughs> yeah so you'll notice like with my itinerary, I've been very careful like to say what well, I'm interested in. So otherwise, why ask it? Like I want it to personalize it for me. So I've told it what I'm interested in and it's built a day by day suggestion for a week. And then I'm like, yeah, but you forgot to talk about the food and the drinks, which are both very important. So it's added that into it. And yeah. then I mentioned I'm traveling by myself. What else should I be aware of? Um, it's given me some information like internet access is limited in Cuba and Wi-Fi is not readily available in many areas. So it's been it, it's not something I would trust with travel. I would go to the Smart Traveller website because I know that ChatGPT was only trained up to the end of 2020. So some of this information would be out of date, mm -hmm. but certainly a good starting place for me to look. Yeah. Um, I will so, go back to the teaching side, sorry. I'll go back to teaching. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, uh, here's, um, this one was during a class. Mm -hmm. um, what are 10 examples of the word semiotics used in a sentence? Um, now, I'm new to teaching the subject, so, you know, I'm still learning about the kind of essays that students can write and the way they can use it within a sentence, uh, the terminology within a sentence. So being able to give examples of how it could be used is really, really um, useful. Um, uh, I had a student um, who has lower literacy than other students in the class, and I wanted to make some of the language that we have available in our class notes a bit simpler. So I wanted it to explain the concept of denotation to a 12-year-old so that I could have simpler language to explain that um, concept. So um, those are all... Um, those are all real life examples of me using it during class time to help me um, help me do um, a subject that I'm less familiar with um, and boost uh, like my thinking around it and challenging me a little bit. Um, 10 ideas about things I can do to teach media conventions. 
Mm -hmm. um, what can the success criteria be? Um, here's one. Uh, so this is a really good example of that one. Sorry, that one's not it. Uh, this is a good example of um, of that idea of it being a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, so I've started with rewrite the following dot points as a formal policy. Um, and then I pressed enter too soon. And it's like, dude, give me the context. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and so here are my dot points. So I've written this. This is not written by AI. This is me just doing a mm -hmm. brain dump. This is what I need to express in our um, policy. And so it's come up with it in a much more formal, organized way. Mm -hmm. And then I've asked it to evaluate that policy. So tell me what it does well. Um, so it's clear and concise. Um, it acknowledges potential uh, limitations and inaccuracies of the technology um, and the importance of academic integrity. Um, but it could be include more specific guidelines for teachers on how to use chat GPT in the classroom such as best practices for evaluating the accuracy of responses. Now, what I love about that is it's actually critiquing itself there. <laughs> um, it's saying you should be teaching kids how to um, critique it and analyse um, mm -hmm. the responses it gets, um, including bias. So I find that very, very interesting. Um, and then improve the policy as you you've um, said in your um, evaluation. So I've had a look at what it's done. I actually removed some bits of it because um, chat GPT is um, restricted to ages 18 plus. So um, I wanted to be a little bit more specific about how you could use it in the classroom without students actually having an account because mm -hmm. that's what it's, it's very explicit about that those under 18 can't set up accounts with mm -hmm. ChatGPT. So my, the examples I had to give um, were a little bit different from the kind of examples that it was coming up with. Um, so it wasn't the only uh, um, one I used. I've done that again with um, the VCE, uh, oh, sorry, HSC exam question. So I put in the HSC exam question from 2022 that's its response. I didn't think it was particularly good. So I said, look, include some quotes in your response. Mm -hmm. Now I've read 1984, but not recently. So I'm not going to say that, um, I'm not going to say that they're all accurate. I would have to double check mm. um, and look. Um, and then I was like, nah, that's not, that's good, but like, it's not formal. So structure it as a formal essay. Um, so it's done that. So it's taken, still got my quotes in it. It's growing. That response is growing each time. Um, and then I'm like, add in two typos and three run on sentences. And the reason I'm doing that is so it feels like it was written by a human. And so when you look at it, you can see like, it's a little bit less accurate in its writing. It's got a few, um, uh, a few interesting typos. <laughs> um, I think it's misunderstood why I'm asking for a little bit, but um, you can see how um, it's, you can see how interesting it is um, in terms of like when you take one thing and keep on massaging it to make it better. So as you're showing me this, so I'm thinking of um, the elaborations in curriculums, right? So essentially what you could be doing as a teacher is grabbing an elaboration, throwing it in here, and then drilling down until you get your curriculum, until you get your well plan, unit plan, essentially. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the other thing you can do is like generate writing prompts really quickly, mm -hmm. for example. Can you grab an elaboration from the Australian curriculum? Let's go with that. And... Um, because I love history. Let's go with history. Vikings. Everyone loves the Vikings. Let's go to the Vikings. So this one here, the way yeah. of life? Yeah, so if you go to the elaborations, uh, yeah, and just describing, yeah, that one there. Let's throw that in. Yep. New chat. All right. 
So actually, you've just done new chat, so that's something that you have to do. Uh, it, yeah, every time you do that, it opens a new stream. Okay. So remember, it's got memory within a single stream, so okay. I would normally shift to a new um, chat. Okay. Um, at level eight in the Australian curriculum, one of the elaborations is da, 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 provide, what would you like me to get? Um, unit outline. Let's just say unit outline. Everyone loves a good unit outline. For this. There you have it. <laughs>